there's no experimental film culture back home. But I always think that I never really plan that much ahead, but more of trying to finish each film along the way. And then after graduation, trying to finish the first film to various grants. Um, and then it, it's just uh, snowballing and, and coming, you know, even, even when I make movies, even when I went to Cannes for second time, Tropical Malady, 2004, I still question, that, is this a real profession? Because financially, I have to admit, it's not that great. And it's, 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 uh, luckily, Thailand is not that expensive. So it's, it's, uh, it's really uh, until later on that I, I start to feel more comfortable with calling it a career. Because of many things that surround image making activities, uh, namely making video and also curating, um, also editing because I found a company to uh, support other younger filmmakers and we have editing station and uh, it just feels like uh, it's like building, slowly building a community and friends in Bangkok. Um, yeah, and working with galleries. I don't know if it can be called accident because I work with my friends in the gallery and it's the first artist-run uh, gallery in Thailand and we had a film screening program and that we call that Kick the Machine. And uh, then this, she, my friend started to show video works. That, this is like early 2000. So she put my short film in the, in the museum, in a gallery. And in the beginning, I have some resistance because of the way that it was projected, that it's supposed to be linear. But with the gallery, it's not. So, but, but gradually, I, I start to make this work for, for this kind of setup that is not linear and also at that time it's becoming more and more moving image into the museum in the gallery in the early 2000. Uh, in fact, I am making more of the so-called video art um, more than the cinema, and peop but people didn't know. I mean, I, I'm, along the way I always make these uh, short, short videos. Definitely it has a different um, different expression when you, when you want to activate the audience to have more um, cerebral or some kind of personal interaction with visual art is more, is more open and more, can be more uh, uh, abstract. Yeah. Um, but I think for, for both cinema and video art is, is pretty much what I really want to say. Oh, oh, either symbolically or not about living in Thailand. I can only say for myself that I really influenced, being influenced by many artists, many filmmakers, and always following the, the footsteps of trying to find sometimes, for example, to find the, the line between reality and fiction. So, so you just need to find this path, this question. For me, reality and fiction is a, is, a, is a big question mark that I follow until now. And of course, when you follow that, you look, to, you look up to other filmmakers or other previous works. Um, but then I would recommend of what I do, which is trying to integrate your personal experience into your work. Um, because for me, I never had a movie of car crash or explosion or, because it, I never experienced those. So it's all very based on reality. Then I think the importance of those filmmakers of reference will become less and less and you will feel the genuine uh, relationship between what you really experience and what you really love. Um, you can imagine you know, 
what you're going to miss most if that thing uh, doesn't exist. Until recently, I feel that uh, it's like two cars that going and the, the car that going further, which is um, a bigger car that has more elaborate uh, storyline and stuff, which is cinema. This car start to reach its limit yeah, in Thailand. So I start to feel that first about the censorship that uh, affect the creativity or decision making there. So, so, uh, so I'm thinking now, planning another film outside of the country. I think to, to go out of the country to make an, a film is a big change because I'm, as I say, I'm really uh, attached to my childhood. So to, to go to a totally different place without the roots there is quite, uh, how you say, exciting for me. And to be able to learn from a different history of the violence that happened or political situation that's different is really, um, really something I look forward to. That's why I choose to somewhere in Latin America because of the landscape. Or, or, or the stories that uh, I heard as a kid and also what influenced those Thai novels in the past where they wrote about the jungles and the tigers and yeah in fact they they were influenced by the West the West when the West went to Latin America and uh, those uh, colonial time and romanticize the jungle, the Amazon, and then so Thai author, authors influence from that, and then it's me. So then it's all about this passing along this, the narrative. So to go to the Amazon itself, maybe is the place that I should, should have been in the beginning.